Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Brianna. I always realize that I never introduce myself, but I'm Brianna and thank you for watching. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what brought you here. But today we're going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. I usually don't do many beauty hauls on my channel. And it's very strange because I am like an avid beauty lover and like really started this channel because of that. And it's somehow morphed into like all handbags and accessories. But um, we're going to do Sephora. And then plus I ordered three things from charlottetilbury.com because I could not wait for the Sephora sale. Um, and I paid full price and I really don't care because I needed her new pillow talk collection. So we're gonna do that today. And then if you see me in another video after this in the same outfit, same setup, I'm doing, um, I'm gonna do my Stony Clover Target haul after. So let me, I have a little box of everything. So let's get organized. Okay. Oh, and I also have, so this is like a Sephora and other beauty haul um, because I have, two things from Pat McGrath that I didn't order from this for sale but okay first up good behavior um protein spirulina protein spray it's a carrot and like treatment 24 hour frizz control 450 degree heat protectant it's by IGK I use this before I blow dry my hair and I have I've had a travel size for like maybe like over a year um maybe two two years because I think I did a review in 2020 during quarantine on it um and I needed the full size and it was just this makes your hair look like no other like you spray it in wet hair before you blow dry it and it literally looks like you got a keratin treatment i've gotten many a keratin treatments in my life but haven't gotten one in a few years because i do sometimes like this is my natural hair i do like my curls um so i usually do that but when i want like really sleek perfect hair this it's it's unreal it's you'll never use anything like it then i got the nars light reflecting foundation in the shade fiji i'm pretty sure this is my shade everybody's been raving about it and i just used the opportunity to get it i've i don't think i've ever used a nars foundation i've used their tinted moisturizer and i liked it enough um so i'm excited to try the foundation everybody's literally cannot say enough good things about it um and a lot of people are comparing it to the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation that just came out i love that foundation there's really no charlotte tilbury foundation that i don't like so i'm excited to try that out then i picked up the rare beauty optimus prime um pore diffusing primer and i got the little size because i am in a wedding in two weeks and um my best friend's wedding i'm in the bridal party and i'm doing my own makeup because i don't particularly like how other people do my makeup but i think i do my makeup pretty well um and but i don't have i didn't have like the right tools like could because i'm not somebody who likes a matte look i don't really ever need my makeup to last a ridiculous amount of time but i'm doing my makeup at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon and I it needs to last until midnight so I'm trying out a few different primers and I will probably do like a review of video or a blog post about like the makeup I used but I'm going to try the Rare Beauty. I used it yesterday in like a little trial that I did and it worked fairly well. I think it it was a nice um pour 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 diffusing primer but I know I do also know that it's supposed to be like long lasting. So we'll, we'll do that. Then I picked up a Rare Beauty um, blush, soft pinch liquid blush in the shade Believe. I have the mini sizes. Oh, it's so beautiful and so clean and I just ruined it. Um, I have the mini sizes of this and I've just been busting for a full size and they're like the best blushes. I My go-to look lately has been <sighs> no foundation um, or if I do put foundation on, it's Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder, like just clean skin, concealer, this and mascara, and I'm good to go. And it's unreal. Like it gives these blushes are so good. I did a whole review on them on my blog. I'll link down below. But yeah, this is a shade Believe. I think this is one of the new shades and it's like a, a mauve. Um, 
I'm going very fast. I understand that. Um, let me try to like slow down. Um, cause I only have a short amount of time, of time to film. So then this was a last minute. So th these came, no, uh, I think th these were a set, my second purchase. Um, and I just forgot I have something else in, okay. Okay getting sidetracked these were a second purchase so I bought this because I also am going to try this for the wedding so we'll see and then this I found many people told me this is like the setting spray to have if you need your makeup to last all day and it's like obviously like it's my girl Charlotte like Charlotte Tilbury literally is like the best makeup brand ever like I want everything her and I pretty much have everything but I'm obsessed so this is her air airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day so which is like the while I love her her packaging looks more luxurious than it actually is like this is like all plastic and it's like a regular spray bottle but whatever I digress so I got the mini size because I didn't want to commit to a full size I also want to bring this with me so they say that you could spray this on your skin before and after makeup application and your makeup will not move. And I swear to God, I did my makeup yesterday with this for like as a trial for the wedding and I had a hard time scrubbing my makeup off. So I am fully, I've used it once and I'm already fully like into it, but I will obviously post a full review and have better thoughts after the wedding where I, and I'm going to keep this in my bag with me. Like this is staying in my actual bag on the wedding day because perfect. I cannot wait to try that. I've only exclusively used Urban Decay All Nighter Spray for years because it's like, it's not broke. Don't fix it. Like that's a perfect spray. So we'll see. Then I couldn't resist. I got the Dior Backstage Concealer Flash Perfecting Flash Perfector Concealer in the shade 3N. And I'm pretty sure it's like caffeine infused and it's so cute and I haven't tried it yet. I literally have been waiting all week to film this video. And it's literally a paintbrush, the applicator, which is so interesting because that's like what old school concealer brushes look like or like foundation brushes like they're like flat and I hate them because I'm like how does anybody use this to blend in makeup but the fact that the applicator is that I'm very intrigued and people have been raving about this and Dior Beauty has been killing it lately and I'm very into it so cannot wait to try this then I picked up um, a Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream and Almost Bare. This is what it looks like. It's supposed to be like, I guess like a velvet. Like it's not, um, it's not a matte, but that's like what it looks like. And, um, Jenna Reinhardt, Reinhardt, what the past, um, she was a beauty editor at Vogue and I follow her on Instagram. She's like, an influencer now and I, I'm obsessed with her and I could watch her do her makeup all day long she swears by this and I've been dying to try I really wanted to try one of the makeup by Mario creams I was gonna get a different color but then she really liked almost bare and I liked the way it looked on her lips so this is what we got um I haven't used it yet so we'll see how that works out then I went a little perfume crazy I got my replica bubble bath in the um, one ounce size. So it's not the full, full size, but it's obviously not the travel size. And these, this scent literally smells, I just sprayed my phone. This scent smells like the freshest, cleanest shower. Let me get my screen. Freshest, most clean scent. It smells like a mix of like a beautiful shower with like linen sheets and it's just unreal how good this smells and I cannot get enough of replica lately like I'm obsessed I have I have a bunch of travel sizes but I also have like the mini full sizes of autumn vibes and by the fireplace which I wore all fall and winter so I felt like I needed 
um, my favorite. Um, it's com it, the fragrance description is fra comforting clean accords and it's just unreal. I went, I bought the travel size last year and I pretty much finished it from like spring into like early fall. So I'm very excited to have her. I've been very into perfumes lately, so not a surprise. Then I picked up the Killian scent, which Killian is the brand. The scent is Angel's Share in a travel size. And it's like, it's very wood, it's woodsy, but it's also kind of sweet. I can't put my finger on what it smells like, but I'm like been very intrigued by the brand. I've been seeing so much of it on TikTok and on Instagram, and obviously there it's all over Sephora, so I figured I'd pick this up. Um, just a new this feels like um just a new fragrance to have. This feels like an all round, all year round. Like it's it's woodsy enough for the winter, but it's sweet enough for the summer, which I think is really interesting and very unique. You don't find that in a perfume a lot. Then finally, this is the last Sephora sale. Oh, so I also bought the Way Thick Hair Treatment Mask, and I used it last night. It's in my shower, which is why I forgot it. But um, I used it last night, and I honestly think it made a big difference because I woke up this morning, and I used my regular... I didn't do anything. I used the my conditioner, that my um, shampoo that I always use, which is the Verb Go Shampoo, used the treatment mask and then when I got out of the shower I just used my way leave-in conditioner which I use pretty much every time I wash my hair but I feel like my hair is a little smoother it's a little shinier it's a little softer it just feels a little better so really into that and then the last perfume is the Valentino I can't I don't remember if I bought this from Nordstrom or Sephora it might have been Nordstrom but it's being included in the beauty haul like I'm a sucker look at that packaging I've been lusting after this mainly because of the packaging for a very long time but I've been so into perfumes lately I cannot help it this is like a very sexy like jasmine -y perfume and I'm obsessed it doesn't feel like there's a lot in there which is like kind of a ripoff but I do think it's like an ounce yeah it's one fluid ounce but I am perfume crazy lately okay now let's do pat my breath you knew it was coming i got two of her bridgerton lipsticks now i bought from the first collection i bought the blush palette um and i really love it but i've been dying to try her lipsticks and why not use the bridgerton as um an, an excuse i'm literally obsessed with Bridgerton I've watched it three times and I made my mom watch it I watched the second season three times I've watched the first season I mean I watched the first season when it came out I watched the second season three times in one week um and now my mom is watching it and I'm kind of re-watching certain parts with her and so that'll be my fourth time watching it um but so yeah I'm obsessed so I got the shade nude romantic they look exactly the same like typical nudie pink I haven't even swatched them. The packaging is very nice. It's like, it's weighted, but this is like a hard plastic. This is a hard plastic, but it still like looks so beautiful. Um, and then the, I got the shade Veiled Rose. They look exactly the same. Oh no, they don't. This one's more pinky. This is more nude. Um, and I really want another one because I really want the pink packaging because um, they have the pink and the blue, but I'm addicted to Bridgerton. I had to have these as like a beauty collector and like the, the packaging is so beautiful. Like I'll save this. I saved my Emily in Paris Lancome ones as well. So I'll definitely be saving that. And now Charlotte Tilbury. So she, the girl released a Pillow Talk, another Pillow Talk collection. She released, um... Uh, what I'm gonna talk about right now but then she also the things that I don't have she re-released on um, the pillow talk beauty wand which I already have enjoy didn't feel like I needed another one um she released a new eyeshadow palette I think that might be it and then I have these 
So first she, she released two of these um, and they're the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Beautifying, Beautifying All Over Highlighter. And I got the shade Romance Light and there's, a, there's another shade um, that I think is slightly darker. Do You Die? Look at that packaging. Once again, it's her hard plastic, but I don't really mind it. Um, but like, look at that. Stunning, stunning. I don't know if this is like the darker one or the lighter one, um, because I didn't realize that there was two at the time. So, I mean, it looks a lot lighter on screen, but you have the like a very light shade, a more nudie shade, a true pillow talk, and then a deeper berry. So it's it's stunning. I don't want to um swatch it yet. Then she released her iconic push up lashes, the which is called Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara, but she released it in the shade Dream Pop, which is basically Pillow Talk, which I literally just re stocked this mascara because I realized I didn't have it in my collection anymore I had like gone through it all and I like was like looking for I like forgot that I had gone through it and I was looking for it and I was like oh I don't have it it was finished I threw it out and I just rebought the black one so now I have the pillow talk shade as well and I can't wait to use this I've never really used um like colored mascara um so I'm excited to try that and then I have one of these already, the other shade, but she restocked them. So they, these are her, these are um, Charlotte's Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. Um, and I have the color of Dreams, which is a lighter shade and more pillow talky. And this is Color of Passion. And it's a deeper shade, like a tr like a more berry, and I'm obsessed. I love little cream palettes like this. I've always been like very into cream products, and I think obviously like everybody's catching on to that trend. Like we have these are very like popular now. Chanel released a beautiful cream um, lip and cheek tint that I'm obsessed with. This has been in my rotation for so long, and I love putting it on I love how it looks on my cheeks and it blends out beautifully so I'm very excited to have the other color because they've been out of stock for a very long time um so yeah that's just it again and it's like oh, it's so beautiful so yeah that is my beauty haul I am going to be oh what did I I placed an order last night literally at like four o'clock in the morning for something that I needed and I can't remember what it was Oh, slip scrunchies. I needed some more um, scrunchies because mine are all either lost or stretched out. So yeah, so that is my beauty haul. There was a lot to get through. I don't think I've ever like, so in, I have never let like my inhibitions go to the wind this way where it's like I haven't bought makeup like this in a really long time. Um, and the Sephora sales, I was going to get you. So yes, thank you for watching that video. Let me know. Um, if you have any questions about any of these products, the Sephora sale, I didn't think I need, really needed to give an introduction to it. And also by the time you're seeing this, it's probably over. I'm filming this on Sunday, April 10th. The I'll probably get it up tonight. Um, and the sale ends tomorrow, April 11th. So yeah, but Sephora has been doing a lot more sales. So definitely keep an eye out. I mean, you'll see it everywhere on social. But I got, I'm VIB Rouge and I got 20% off of all this stuff. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to my channel, visit me on all my social media, um, which will be linked below. Visit my blog, royallypink.com, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.